everyone to join us with just commentary so guess what this is the first video i'm actually filming since the hurricane at night we do not have electricity however i got some solar light so i was able to actually charge them in the sun today so i said let me try out for the first time doing or recording the video in the night using the solar lights so so far it's looking good right so please bear with me if it sees during the video you see it suddenly get a bit darker just in one of them the battery died so we're just gonna react to a video right now entitled king booming ball of thailand of course this is gonna be an awesome video of course i'd like to thank you so very much for requesting like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to your video don't forget of course leave a comment below and of course don't forget share this video with your friends of course once again thank you so very much let's go ahead okay soul of a nation King Boomingbot at Dulachi. Wow. Always the maps, even in the lunch break. Always have a map. But it is not I merely know. driving himself for the sake of driving himself. It is part of a very deliberate method of working. Wow. First, he listens to anyone who approaches him with a problem. Then he makes himself take time to think about the problem on his own. Oh, he will then propose a plan. Hmm. Sometimes he will suggest a scheme to the government and leave them to implement it. Sometimes he will start an experimental project, which he will initially finance himself. Increasingly, awesome. his pilot schemes are developed for general use throughout the country. A very independent king, doing all sorts of things that's unusual of a king, but he, he did great. He did great. Always equipped with his camera and his map. That is why. Is that? Is that her? There is often a lot more walking than this. <laughs> Before the days of helicopters, much more walking still. Yes, I can imagine so. Many of the and villages the king walked, can only be reached after walks walked three or four hours. of a lot of persons. So it is necessary to keep king he is. The queen can swim a mile without discomfort. <laughs> but that's the royal family jog regularly. The king most often late at night after finishing work. Their wow. energy is physical as well as mental. The family is keeping fit. It has now been discovered that the north of Thailand can grow a vast variety of crops. Wow. Coffee is one of them, and coffee growing is developing rapidly. Hmm. That's good. There's a market for it. There's a market for coffee. Is it still existing? Are they still growing coffee there? The king is now visiting a Mayo village. The Mayo are the largest in numbers of the hill tribes. There are about 50,000, which are subdivided wow. into green Mayo, black Mayo, white Mayo, red Mayo, and striped Mayo, as almost so called from the colors of their skirts. As many persons, sorry, Not all these subdivisions live in Thailand. My land. As with other hill tribes, there are also population is about 60,000 to 65,000. The hill tribes of Burma and Thailand Might be less have far more now. in common with each other than either do with the countries in which they have been deemed citizens by map drawing politicians. Up here, the king has worked very hard to encourage them to abandon their nomadic life and settle down as Thai citizens. Wow. Did they agree? The spotter airplane is always overhead in case of trouble. The problem with this country and so much of the north is not naturally poor soil, but erosion. Oh, yeah. The semi-nomadic tribes slash and burn the forests, hmm. cultivate their own patch until the soil is exhausted, and then move on to destroy more of the valuable teak forests. Wow. The erosion of the hills is causing floods in the plains. Yes, that's... that's what the main traditional of crop of all the hill tribes is the opium here. poppy. The juice is extracted from the unripe fruit. Care must be taken not to slit right through, or the juice will flow inside and be lost, and also what? stop the seeds from ripening. Most of the opium is processed into heroin. Really? But very little of the huge profits that the city middlemen get come back to the poor peasants who grow and smoke the opium. Wow. These people have smoked opium for centuries. They see nothing wrong with it. Hmm. Indeed, it has been said that this kind of opium smoking is hardly more harmful than smoking tobacco. Furthermore, it is often used as a painkiller. That is something The king else. refuses to punish the tribes as lawbreakers. Instead, he is very concerned to persuade them to grow alternative crops which can be more profitable than poppies. Wow. 
Wow. The king conjectured that, that the else. flowers and fruit trees of the temperate zone could be grown successfully in these upland regions of Thailand. He put experts to work and it was discovered that he was right. Hmm. Of course he was right. The king's very wise man. Whether he it is. be flowers well, such as was. carnations or fruit such as apples, peaches and strawberries, the produce will sell for far less in well, Bangkok is that, you know, imports from Europe or America and yet still earn the hill tribesmen a oh, greater profit than the they would get from opium. It's the, it's still they even export bulbs in the mind of the people. Schemes have also been started whereby plants are grown to a certain stage in these cooler uplands which makes for stronger stock and then transplanted to the plains where they mature more rapidly in the great yeah. heat. That's it. Such Something schemes I do with my started peppers. by the king are now backed by the United Nations as part of the war on ah. drug production. See, it's still existing. They not only increase the hill tribe's existing. prosperity, but also increase the opportunities for cooperation between the hill tribes and the Thais who live on the plains below them. That's awesome. So they did reforestation now. Most of the heroin, which is smuggled out of Thailand, actually comes across the border from Laos and Burma. And whatever you do with your projects, you still can't control that. The hmm. whole <coughs> project can do to not to stop, but to to improve the situation is that so that the people here can see another choice. The hill tribes, they have friends. They have relatives all over. I like when he's speaking the, the video English. Route from Yunnan to Tibet and down to to a country here. Yeah. It's a long way and they walk. They they have communication. Very good awesome communication. Video. Apart from what you can see of in Of course I will the move the I'll be moving some see. of the lights to get a better is okay, the spirit better. of these people. They come and go and they say that that is the king's project. They spread the information. They are better than the information service of Bangkok. Um, if we postulate that the opium is grown outside of this country and the opium. heroin factories are outside of this country, only the trade comes through. Hmm. Why should we go on helping these people to grow uh, oh, lettuces, if you want, or strawberries? Mm. Well, we have the opium or the narcotics uh, problem. It's only one, <coughs> as I, s I told you at the beginning, it's Very only one of the aspect of Very the problem. Or, or say the task we have. The other task is to, to give these people a better way of life. So this we continue, even wow. if, and I don't this, think this is just in the near future, if the opium is eradicated like oh, smallpox no, too bright. Been, we have to continue okay. this program for a long time. Make sure I so that we give, uh, give these people a better life and also right. yeah. so Perfect. that everyone will get the benefit of it. Very wise king was. Amazing. Is the king's life at great risk on these trips? Well, it's worth the work, I'm A member sure. of the royal family, Princess Wipawadi Ransit, while traveling by helicopter to a remote village, was shot down by insurgents and killed. What? The king's helicopter is painted in conspicuous colors. Princess Sirinthorn told us the insurgents shoot up the village on the day before we arrive and the day after we leave, but not on the day of our visit. What? That's how it is at the moment, anyhow. Turning back, they're taking helicopters. That's a lot of helicopters. Here. I don't know how many is in there. 
The royal family use helicopters to visit the more isolated parts of Thailand. Ah. Frequently on such visits, they perform life-saving service by removing sick people to hospital, or in the case of a border raid such as this, lifting out the dead and wounded. Wow. The king's work among the peasants takes him closer and closer to sharp personal danger. One day, perhaps, there will be communist insurgents who would not care much about murdering a king. There is all sorts of danger, anyhow. Vietnamese troops on the border, communist subversion inside the country, wow. and refugees and their hundreds of thousands putting strain on those who have to feed them and offering ideal cover for communist infiltrators. Hmm. One of the king's many hobbies is firearms. And amongst other things, he has designed a gun mounting for helicopters. Is the time coming when he will have to put this knowledge to practical use? Wow. Oh, wow. Tell the 10 minutes is over already. Wow, that was BBC 1979. That is a long time ago. Oh, that was a great video. Thank you so much for requesting this video, guys. It was an awesome video. I enjoyed it for sure. And I love the fact that the king was speaking English so very well. It's always amazing to see this video. Every time I think to myself, you know what, I've seen maybe all the videos about the king. One of you make the awesome request and asked me to react to yet another video. And I'm so grateful for all these requests that you guys are making. Thank you, of course, guys, for supporting Junos with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to a video, definitely leave a comment below. I'll try my utmost best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.